Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone today? Um, if you hear a little noise in the background, my husband is making breakfast in the kitchen and you may hear a little noise, so just letting you know. So, on the request of one of my beautiful subscribers, but she is also a friend of mine, Stacy Nicole from RC Farty Lovers, wanted me to make a video of all my resin work and all my art, all the jewelry I made. So, for you, Stacy, here it is. So, I can't believe actually how much I've made in a pretty short period of time. Um, I'm going to start from the left side here. This is some of my first pieces. These are the tumbler molds. So these came with another kit, um, a mold kit, the little hooks here. I like these better actually because the thinner um, little piece here. And I put a lot of the strings on. I got the cord. Um, these are the ones that you saw me make yesterday. This one right here, it is totally done. Um, so I got some black cord, that's a two millimeter, and this is like a cream color cord, that's one millimeter. Um, I wanted just to have like different choices as far as the cords are concerned, because certain things need a thinner cord. Um, here, they're getting attracted to one another, are all of my mermaid, these are all uh, magnets. Uh, there are only a couple pieces missing because I gave one to my son. A keychain, and I gave a keychain, a mermaid keychain, uh, to one of his friends. Here is actually, whoops, these got flipped over. These actually are some of my favorites right here. I call this my little zombie collection because of that green and that glitter kind of just makes it look, I don't know, I just think of him as like a zombie. And I love this one right here. It's just really cool. I love this collection of molds. These are like the, they call them funny skeleton molds, but here's the little conjoined twins. I have quite a bit of them. Here's one in a magnet form. If my, there we go. My camera keeps on, not focusing very well, but there is a lot of stuff on here. Here are my little alien cats. I love them. It's really my favorite. And we got the dragon eyes. These are both magnets. Uh, most of these are magnets. Yeah, I think they're all magnets now because I didn't have those little hooks yet. Um, like these little mini hooks here to make necklaces or charms. So I had to make magnets out of all of these. So that's all good. These are nothing right now because these are clear. And I'm trying to, even though when I paint the, the magnet it's, you still kind of see it so the ones that are actually quote unquote nothing just like pieces I'm thinking of using those as like um, let's say someone was gonna buy this guy um, I would give one maybe as a gift like a little resin gift like actually Parmaflow does that with every box I get so he, I love that guy this this particular mold I really love and I love the conjoined twins and yeah I love that cute little skull there and here's some more of the same collection, just all different colors. And I just put this on like as charms. There you go. Yeah, it is, it is not really a bracelet. You know, I just didn't know what to do with all of them, really. Um, I really don't have stuff to make bracelets. I kind of, I'll show you one that I tried to do yesterday, but I don't know if I really like it. So like I kind of knotted them up on the cord, that white cord, and I put a knot um, in between each one so they stay still. So it's kind of cute, but I don't know if I really 100% like the way that looks. And these are again going to be like little resin gifts um, because this is before I had the magnets, it's before I had the hooks, so you know I would probably just give these away as gifts if someone was to buy something from me. So this is my astrology collection. I did not put any, I got this white cord for these. These are real pain in the butt to make. And you know, I would probably have to use these as, you know, like little charms for bracelets or something. They're very, very thin and very, very delicate. So they're a pain in the butt to make. And this one came out horrible. So we're gonna pretend we didn't see that, but these are cool. Um, 
so I painted these are actually really really finished because I added more gold paint to them so you can actually see the sign and yeah I think this is me this is the Taurus and this cord works perfectly with it and these are some magnets so I think I did paint yes I did I painted the backs of the magnets so that they didn't kind of show out so much and here are my all my coasters these I would probably use more maybe like to put some jewelry on or maybe keys these are kind of small and weirdly shaped but I still kind of like them these are some these are like some of my first um, coasters I made and I love these they're so pretty then you just saw me make this one not too long ago this is just a clear um, coaster and as we know this is my Mardi Gras huge coaster and this is the first one I made so those are those two together and yes yeah, so that's my little coaster collection here now when I brought this out I also made some gabichons so I actually had an idea now that I actually saw that I just brought this over to my table I put all the gabichons on here so I also have my own gabichon mold um, now I had a really cool idea as to I would make like something more like this like more clear with very cool no pigment just maybe some glitter or something like that maybe some stones around the edges but I had an idea of taking making colored like using micas or whatever in the gabachon and actually gluing them on top to kind of look like that. Now these come off or to do the coaster like this and put some gabachons on top to make just like a different texture. So I thought that was a kind of cool idea. And then of course we have last but not least my beautiful love mold that I made for my husband for Valentine's Day. I think that came out really beautiful. Let's see it in the light. Yep. And that is what I have been making so far. Um, I did show you another mold of uh, two molds for coasters. So I will be working on those soon. And also, I got a special mold um, specifically to do my Jacksepticeye uh, dedication or the Jacksepticeye um, videos that will be coming up hopefully next week. Um, yeah, so, you know, we shall see. But that is a surprise, so I will show you that special mold that I got. And I could use that mold for many different other things, but that's going to be a surprise when I do that video. So, yeah, these are a pain in the butt to make. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I may just give those away, too. But, yeah, guys, so this, I'm just going to go through it one last time. Thank you, Stacy, for giving me this great idea, or for you coming up with the idea. I didn't come up with the idea, but thank you for even wanting to see all of it together. Yeah, so I made quite, quite a bit of stuff in a very short period of time. And I'm really happy to see all my stuff here all laid out. It kind of looks very cool. Alright guys, so that is it for today. This is a quick little video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. I am going to put a list of materials that I used to make all this stuff. So... If you want to try out some of the stuff for yourself, a lot of some of the stuff I got on Amazon, I don't have the uh, brand name for it, but um, some most of them I do. So if you want to go and check out some of the stuff for yourself, you can. I am not affiliated in any way with Amazon. I just listing it below, so you can try some of the stuff out for yourself. So thanks guys again for watching, and if you want to follow me on social media, my links are below. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.